Hello everyone, welcome to FinalDoTunnel.com. Please accept my apologies for posting this video so late. Uh, we are still into the series of learning about general cargo vessels, about the loading, carriage, securing, discharging of cargo, special cargoes, which uh, as you know, we have been dealing with the past uh, two videos. So we will be posting more videos regarding that. But in between, I am making this video uh, because I received a lot of uh, queries from from the readers that uh, their Lodicator is not uh, showing them the hog and sag values. Through this video, I, I want to tell you that uh, some Lodicators might show the hog value and the sag value, but all the Lodicator shows the diagram which you can see on the screen. And using this diagram, you can actually judge whether or not at a given particular instant or during the loading or the discharging of the vessel how the vessel will behave with respect to hogging and sagging as you know it is very important as a chief officer to ensure that how the vessel is uh, leading towards during the course of loading operation whether it is hogging whether it is sagging whether it is uh, like uh, not uh, playing around much as far as the hogging and sagging is concerned because it is very important especially during the last stage of the loading if you are sagged a lot you won't be able to load the complete uh, amount of cargo which you have asked for as per your pre stowage plan but uh, if you are hogged again then uh, uh, too much of hog is also not good for the vessel because in that case uh, you might end up uh, getting your uh, end on drafts more than your midship draft so this is uh, this can cause a little problem especially at places where you have got draft restrictions so during that case also you might not be able to load the full cargo so an optimum uh, loading will always ensure that the vessel is uh, not hogged too much not sagged too much like I have already uh, told you in my previous video, the general tendency of every bulk carrier is to sag once it is loaded to the marks. So that sag you cannot basically avoid because that is a tendency of the vessel. Uh, all bulk carriers sag when they are loaded to the marks. But you can control that sag. If you let the vessel sag in the early stages of the loading, then it becomes very difficult for you to break that sag and therefore it is very important to you that you don't let the vessel sag at very early stages of the voyage okay you have to uh, make sure that you uh, keep the vessel as much as hogged as possible don't hog the vessel too much that you keep on loading the end on holds because ultimately you have to load the center holes so you have to carefully monitor and ensure but then your loadicator will also give you that idea so we will understand using the uh, screenshot from the loadicator that how using this graph you can determine whether the vessel is hogging or sagging during any stage of the loading operation or discharging operation but we are more concerned about the loading operation okay so if you can see over here in this there's a very important line what i'm talking about is this line this if you can see right this line is the bending moment line okay okay so this is the bending moment line you have to be very careful about this line in this you can see that the the line is basically convex in nature that is it is curving upwards right it's not curving downwards it's curving upwards so and this line which is the black one is the mean line zero okay so in this case it is curving upwards that is it is making a convex shape okay if you see from down it is a concave shape but if it if you're seeing from top it's a convex shape so this is the bending moment line which shows that the vessel in this present situation is hogging okay so the bending moment so the bending moment is basically hogging i will just use the arrow pointer 
to explain to you this is the line which i am talking about okay so this line you have to focus on so this is the bending moment line and if this line is going upwards like curving upwards and then falling down that means that the center part of the vessel has got a bending moment which is a hogging moment okay it is making the vessel go hog okay we will also explain the another case like an in this pic if you see again it is hogged this line okay in this picture you can see this line has come closer to the mean line of zero okay we will just zoom it and then check this is what i'm talking about okay this line so this red line is now very much closer to the mean line so now still the vessel is slightly hogged but then it is lesser compared to the previous pick okay so this line will tell you whether the vessel is hogging or sagging let's take an example of another pick in this you can see the bending moment line here this bending moment line which was initially convex in shape has now become concave in shape like this is curving downwards now okay this means that the vessel is not experiencing a sag basically the vessel is sagging midships not only in midships but also starting from number cargo number four or something like that five something like that and almost till forward this stage it really becomes difficult for you to break the sag of the vessel see more the sag of the vessel lesser cargo you will be able to load uh, it's not like that you cannot control it you can control it but like i said you have to control it in the initial stages of the loading if you can control it well and that is where devising a very good loading sequence comes into play such that you keep a slightly hogging moment till the end of the uh, just before the trimming stage or just like uh, before the trimming stage and a couple of holes are still uh, loading in that case you can really um, work your way around and ensure that you load the optimum amount of cargo always remember the more you sag the more amount of cargo you will lose uh, during the time when you finish the loading because in any case you cannot exceed the marks so in this case in this pic you can actually see that this graph is convex concave in shape now looks from if you look at from the top side then you are sagging a lot and this is what you don't want so some loadicator shows you the corresponding draft in this case is 10.68 and the midship draft is somewhere around 10.61 so you you know that you are sagged by almost you are sagged by almost 8 centimeters so this loadicator shows okay this loadicator shows that how you how the vessel is behaving in this case you can see that the draft is 10.68 but the midship draft is supposed to be 10.60 you are low you are sagged by 8 centimeters so this loadicator shows but like i said few people told me that their loadicator is not showing whether the vessel is hogging or sagging so in that that case this graph definitely you can use and predict that at a given point of time how the vessel is behaving okay so this is what i wanted to show you using this video i hope this video was helpful to you and in make you more confident about using the loadicator especially when it comes to predicting the hogging and sagging of the vessel in our forthcoming videos we shall continue to learn about the general cargo vessels and will bring a lot of good information to you which is practical in nature so you can apply it in order to ensure that you operate the vessel safely thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all your support which you have been giving to funnelrutunnel.com we are now a family of almost 1600 uh, enthusiastic and willing to learn seafarers at our website we have uh, registered hits of more than 50,000 so we are now a very big maritime community i would also want you to share your knowledge your feedback your comments your experiences on our website you can always write to us at ask at the rate com 
and we shall be posting your story on our website. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a great day. Goodbye.